Hi everyone, I'm Fede and in this video we are going to see how to install Hamilton from source. Then we are going to create a strategy and run it with the auto start. First of all, we are going to enter into the official repository of Hummingbot and we are going to clone it in our local machine. For that, I'm going to create a directory here. Once it's done, we can see here we have the folder Hummingbot and we will have a script called install that will be the one that creates the content environment for us with all the dependencies that we need to run Hummingbot. And just to take in mind, if you have already this environment created of another uh, version or from another repo and you want to update it, you could run uninstall and then run install again and just make sure that you are not uh, with the Hummingbot uh, environment activated. You have to deactivate the environment and run uninstall and then you could run install again to create a fresh new environment. We could see that our environment is ready to be used so we have to run conda activate Hummingbot and then one important thing that we have to do is to compile. Don't forget that. Now we are ready to start the client because we have cl we cloned the repo, we installed the con environment and also we compile. So now we could run bin hummingbot.py and the client will start. We have to follow these steps, we are going to create a password. In this case, I'm going to put um, video, video, because we have to use it later when we are going to, to run the strategy without a start. So now we are going in the client, we are going to create a strategy. Let's see. We're going to create a, a pure market making in Binance. Paper trade, okay. ETH USDT, 0.5%, 0.3, 15 seconds, 0.02. No. We're going to call it the name of the strategy conf video auto start. And as you see, the strategy could be run here. Yeah, we could run the strategy and it is using the Binance Paper Trading connector. Now we are going to stop this strategy and we could exit the client. One way is to run exit and we are here in the terminal again. So now the thing is we want to start that strategy with the auto start. So for that, we are going to take a look at the documentation of the official Heimbot site. Let's go to the web page. We could close GitHub. And now here, the documentation, global configs, and you will see here strategy auto start. At the right, we have the table of contents and we are going to use source auto start for now. And it's easy as putting the config file name here and the config password that you choose. In this case, is the password that we choose is video. And the config file name is conf underscore video auto start dot jumble. So if we run this, the client has to start and the strategy will start. Yeah, as we can see, it started. So it's running. We could see here status. It's running with paper trading, but the strategy is running. So this is the way that you could auto start your strategies 
and now we are going to see how to do this but in PyCharm. So for that we are going to exit here and we are going to close this terminal. I have to open PyCharm here. We are going to create a profile to run it properly. Open here. This is the auto start. The one that we were working on. So at the top right, we could find here that says add a configuration. We're going to add a new configuration for Python. And the script path is quick, Hamilton quick start. Take in mind that if you are running Hummingbot or you want to debug Hummingbot without any strategy, you could just Hummingbot.py. But here I'm going to create one for using the auto start. So we will open that and then here in parameters. No. Here in parameters, we could pass minus f conf mm, video auto start dot jaml and minus p video python i will click on the environment here we have to delete the bin the working directory is Hummingbot and emulate terminal output console. So with a configuration, we could use the run or the debug. If you are developing or, tr or testing something, you could use the debug or just, oh, sorry, cancel. Now you could run this and you will see that the PyCharm terminal starts with your strategy. And this is very useful if you are developing some, some feature because you could put a breakpoint and run the debug tool and it will start with the configuration. You don't have to run anything. Well, now we are going to stop this. Well, the last thing is take in mind that in this case, we just run the strategy how to start with Binance Paper Trading, that's why we don't need to configure any API keys. But suppose that you want to run this uh, one strategy with a real exchange with real API keys, you have to connect them first and then you will be able to run your strategy. And the last thing is if you want to run it with Docker, you could follow this Docker auto start guide. It's very straightforward, it's just like very similar to what we have done uh, today. The only thing that you have to have Docker installed and your API keys, as I told you uh, recently, and the configuration file. Well, that's all for this video. I hope that you enjoy it and also you could auto start your strategies now. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to learn something different of, or if you have any problems with the auto start. And thank you very much for your time. Bye bye.